Welcome back. You are still watching Morning Live. We now take a look at your sports news. Well, Cricket South Africa has embarked on an online educational program to assist grade 1 to grade 12 cricket players with their studies. Learners will be provided with tablets during their training sessions. This in an attempt to combine cricket and education in order to improve academic results. The Federation aims to plow back to disadvantaged communities by offering academic support. Now, a total of 1 million rand has been spent to roll out the project in schools in a box online academic program throughout the entire country. This morning we look at that important start to what could end up with a professional contract for underprivileged youngsters. And to help us bring some context, we've roped in Cricket South Africa's Transformation Manager, Max Jordan. Good morning, Max, and thank you for joining us on Sports on Morning Live. Good morning, Bussy, and good morning to the viewers. So, Max, let's start at the beginning. Yesterday, U.S. Cricket South Africa launched something which we hope is the beginning of many similar projects, just basically the marriage between cricket as well as education. Tell us more about this drive to educate young cricketers and um, what this marriage intends to look like in the long run. Uh, for, for us at Cricket South Africa, we always had to believe that... Uh, a sound mind and a sound body, that is the recipe for a sustainable lifestyle, for a lifestyle that will assist you with the many skills required in life. So we don't see a demarcated life in sport and a life in, in, in education. In fact, we have seen earlier studies that where we do have these hubs and RPCs, uh, and we've checked against the result outcomes that those who participate in sports programs, in fact, are doing better than those who are not in sport. So from our point of view, when we had the opportunity, when we received the um, presentation uh, from School in the Box, we've considered it, and we thought that it will be good for us instead of um, trying to correct matters way down the line that young learners, as early as we can, uh, we assist them to develop confidence in what they do uh, on a daily basis, and that is education. They spend uh, many hours in the classroom, and once they develop confidence in the classroom, uh, they can develop confidence in learning new skills. So from that point of view, uh, we have then partnered with uh, School in the Box. Obviously, as you've mentioned, the spend that we've already incurred uh, in areas like Hammondskraal, Langa, Dobsonville. We've been to Galvindale the day before, and yesterday we were in Ravensmead. It's a good time for us because this is a time more or less now where we find schools are preparing for the final exam. So there's a good fit between revision and the support that we give to learners who participate in our hubs program. Certainly. Now, moving um, to a better school in order to get access to better facilities comes with its own different challenges, whether it be a huge culture shock or adapting to a, a different language for some students. How do those that are granting these scholarships actually help those students and nurture them through some of those possible challenges? Yes, we, there is a possibility there when, when you relocate a child that you also dislocate the child from their, their immediate environment and, and so school, uh, school culture. And therefore, we, we saw it put to where we are that we change the environment for learners, that we give them an opportunity in an environment that they know in terms of our hubs and RPCs, uh, educators that is supportive they are, and also the parents is very much part of the program because before we start, we do uh, engage with the parents and explain to them what is it that we are embarking on and hopefully we get community buy-in. We need... Uh, unfortunately, given the high pupil learner uh, education ratio, um, 
extracurricular support is, is necessary in, in our environment. And hopefully, in a small way, we can demonstrate that uh, what individual attention, any learner, wherever they are, can do better. Because it's important for us that learners develop that confidence, as I said, in the work that they do. Uh, and they carry it over onto the cricket field. And if they are confident in at school, in sport, they'll be confident in life. And through that, we hope to create a confident society so that you can make a difference. And Max, how much progress has been made in terms of improving the conditions in the township and rural areas? Because this is normally the first point of call for a lot of youngsters before they are scouted. School in a box therefore gives us that portability. Uh, as you most probably have seen in the pictures, uh, we have all the subjects, uh, by and large, in what we call the, the scarce subjects. That is maths, natural science, physical science, uh, business, and more important, uh, the communication, English, that we give support to come create uh, four to grade uh, 12. And we do have committed tutors uh, that will assist from Monday to Thursday. So what will happen, or, and that is the, the rollout, that learners would come from school, um, arrive at our hubs, you know, have a time to have a meal, get stuck in their schoolwork, and then start training. So we see life as a complete picture and, and, and not staccato, uh, you know, uh, one following the other, so that we have a holistic individual at the end of the, week, at the, end of the day. Max, thank you so much for talking to us um, this morning and good luck with the program. Thank you very much. Good day and have a good day. That is, of course, Max Yordan, the Transformation Manager at Cricket South Africa, just telling us about the marriage between cricket and education through school in a box. That's it for your sports bulletin in this hour. I'll be back with you in the next hour as we will be speaking about football and getting fans back into the stadium. But for now, SK is on standby with your headlines.